I'm not waiting too long for this to happen, but as you can see, Gift of the Lotus Alert. This would be on Lua. Strange place for the Lunar New Year alert, isn't it? Not so much. Just like last year, this is for a glyph. It's a survival level 10 to 15. Don't know how long it's going to be, but it's a survival and that means, well, there's only one frame you can really take in for this anyway. That would, of course, be Necros, because Desecrate will work wonders, it just depends how long it's for. But I'm not going to use him. Ah, Frost. Old school Frost, obviously. Though, no, at the same time. I cheated. Uh, Frost Prime. Also, people are leaving instead of staying. Why are they doing this? I'm assuming somebody's waiting for a Necros to come in. Um, let's just see how long this is... Uh, going to take how long 10 minutes if you cannot survive 10 minutes you probably shouldn't be playing survival without necros well spent the last five minutes doing a challenge room because nothing else happened it it ah oh, no what you better not go back down there <laughs> oh, oh, oh i was about to get really mad there it was nothing special happened just done and there's the alert I was waiting for. Celebrate the new year. That is more information on this, but, well, pretty much nothing happened. I died trying to do that because I just, I forgot what the timing of it was, and that's about it. One challenge room later, and, well, I guess we're leaving now. No. Survivors. Nothing happened in there whatsoever. We just did a challenge room for the last few minutes. The reason for doing this is, however, the glyph. There will be three alerts. There is this one today for the rest of the day that will give you the hamster glyph. There is one tomorrow that will give you the a poster and one for an emblem on the 18th. So the 16th, 17th and 18th, there will be an alert there for 24 hours that has pretty decent awards to it rewards to it that is the start of this having to do the missions to get those not so bad but there is also three new packs actually you can see the glyphs the glyph i'm assuming the ox emblem is i'm gonna have to make this bigger the emblem is in the bottom left here with the glyph in the middle and the poster on the right but it's the bundles the first one I seen, I looked at it and went, okay, mm, meh. Then there's the second one, machete skin, boosters, bit of kuva, meh. And then I saw the last one, the Lunius Brilliance Bundle, and went, ooh, now I'm intrigued. There's a ribbon as well, apparently. In fact, it's two ribbons, a Zaw ribbon and a Rifle ribbon. It's the statues you want from this. The lucky cavat. That's a cavat, is it? Okay. And... Oh. The Pyrona skin just looks... Actually, these all look pretty damn nice. It's this one I was looking forward to. And I was really hoping that the Aseltra skin was going to be behind on alert it's not it's kind of inside of a bundle that you have to pick up and it's 470 platinum wow oh and let's not forget those other ones what is um why not to forget in the other packs there is a sugatra that doesn't look too bad the machete wraith skin this is a thing the orthos is a really good melee weapon so that skin will get a lot of use there is of course three of these in the first one it's just an affinity booster in the second one it's still just an affinity booster but it's seven days and in the last one it's both resources and credits as for size they are about the same height as a kubradon floof much smaller in diameter and everything else because well it takes a lot more a lot less space up than the floof but it's way taller than a noggle is frost there is definitely smaller in the background than these things are 
they are much bigger than I expected them to be. I expected it to be about the same size as that little gold thing sitting between the Kubradon floof and the golden one. They look exactly the same. They're not looking in different directions. The arms don't move. As you can see, we're looking at them and you can see Panzer Pup back there that I still haven't changed the name of, even though technically it's a fox. Playing around in the background, that thing's moving. The noggles are moving. Everything's moving. These aren't. So it's not like I've froze time, which, well, technically I have now. Um, they just look exactly the same, but they are different colours. And obviously, after this year, these things will probably not return looking like this. And you can see they're all holding basically the same coins. And there's one last thing I want to do with these before I take them away and put them somewhere else. I'll probably put them in different places, but I'll put them somewhere else and put this on. So it's kind of in the wrong colours. So we'll just take them off completely. It hasn't changed it that much. But with the different colour zones that that skin kind of gives you, why did you do that? That, n that never works. You can see the different variations are kind of endless on how you want to set this thing up to make it look. But yeah, ever since they showed the first picture of this, I've been looking forward to it because, well, it's kind of blank as standard. That makes it look so much better. But that makes it look much better again. For the Orthos, I mean, I like all of these skins. The, well, the Onyx one's going to be my favourite forever because, well, you can't get it. It was a Steam thing and it may return one day, probably not. But this thing actually doesn't look too bad at all. I was kind of looking at it and thinking, well, it looks nice, but after coming in here... That one looks much nicer and, well, I kind of like that one. Nope. That one looks just as good as I thought it was going to look. If not, maybe that tiny little bit better. And I think, uh, we need to take all of that off there. We're going to put this one on the Pyrana. Also now starting to realise, uh, I have that. And also it's for dual pistols. This is not a dual pistol. Never mind. There's the single one. Why is that even appearing? Anyway, and it even looks good on the Pyrana. The Pyrana skin looks... I still think that gold's a tad bit off from what it needs to be. Still looks really nice though. But it's no Pyrana Prime. Skin on this. Actually, you can put that skin on this. But the Prime version just looks so much nicer anyway. Plus... This thing is deadly anyway. Actually amazed that this didn't come in a update itself, a hotfix, considering there is something that they are going to hotfix sometime today. So I expected them to do it with this. But don't forget, alert one, February the 16th at 2pm ET, running for 24 hours for the hamster glimph. Glimph? Say it again. Glyph, that's live now. Tomorrow, February the 17th at 2pm ET, running for 24 hours, will be the poster, which is the one at the right. And on February the 18th at 2pm ET, running for 24 hours, will be the Ox Emblem, which is the one on the left here. Once they have gone, they will be gone. They will probably never return. I'm going to say probably because in theory the can't return for many years there is also the new bundles and those cats don't look bad but i think it's the weapon skins that just kind of make that look so much better and the two ribbons don't they kind of come in very handy as well but that's about it so we'll leave this off here for now thanks for watching and i'll catch you next time <laughs>